Let's go on to the hoopa. The hoopa really, for me, symbolizes the tabernacle, the tent. It's like a little tent, a square with a, some poles, and the bride and groom come under it. Or come under it. Uh, hoopa literally means a canopy or a covering. It's the canopy under which the Jewish couple stand during their ceremony. Sometimes it's a cloth or a sheet, sometimes a tully stretched over and supported over four poles, or manually held by attendants. It symbolizes the home that the couple will build together. While a Jewish marriage is still considered valid in the absence of a hoopa, it's considered a basic requirement for a Jew Jewish wedding. In a more general sense, hoopah refers to the method by which Nesun, the second stage of Jewish marriage, is accomplished. All right. This is important because the Feast of Tabernacles, in my view, is when Jesus tore the veil of his flesh. He made a way for us to enter under his hoopah, his covering. He tabernacled with us. He became the tent. And then we go and tent with him we tabernacle under his covering the ark of his presence which symbolizes the new heavens and the new earth our new home with him being with him all the time complete restored fellowship that we lost in the garden through sin now the hoopa has a ceremony and um this ceremony are the seven blessings which are recited over the cup of wine, which is the Yom Kippur, the final uh, cleansing of all the heavens and the earth that symbolizes um, Jesus' final work and the completion of it in order to bring in the new heavens and the new earth, the tabernacle where we'll be consumed with him, will be in his presence, Forever, 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 forever. How wonderful is that? Now the cup of now the cup of wine is taken by both the bride and groom under the hoopa, and that life that is the blood of Yeshua, and completed, and then the blessings are recited. The groom then gives the bride a a wedding band. And often the glass is broken. The bridegroom breaks the glass and says, Mazel Tov. Very customary. We're not sure where that came from. But I want to read to you um, <clears throat> the seven blessings. Sometimes when the bride is presented, presenting the ring to the groom, there's a quote from the songs of songs, Anili Dori Vele Ani le dodi ve dodi li, I am my beloved's and my beloved is mine, which can be inscribed on the ring also. Uh, the seven blessings are recited by the Hatsana, the rabbi. And then the room is given the cup of wine to drink after the seven blessings, and so is the bride. And it's really a, quite a simple ceremony often the bride and groom will go into another hupa uh, for a time of togetherness or seclusion while the wedding guests begin the feasting seven days feasting and um, that would be the seven days of the feast of tabernacles and then the conclusion of Shemini Atzaret or um, the finishing of the ceremonies to go on to other things and Simcha Torah, the the what uh, the conclusion of the readings of the Torah. Let's return to the Sheva Barachot. The Sheva Barachot, literally the seven blessings, also known as the Bikot Nisun. 
the wedding blessings in Jewish law are blessings recited for the bride and her groom as part of their ceremony, Nisiyun. The betrothal remembers the Arasun and the establishing of the full marriage, which I conjecture is the fall feast, the, um, the beginning of uh, uh, Rosh Hashanah, the establishment of the coming kingdom, and the, the, or the declaration of the coming kingdom until Yom Kippur, and then the Feast of Tabernacles is the establishing the full marriage is soon. <clears throat> we'll start with, and of course remember, Tabernacles is the week-long festivities, seven days, and um, these blessings are often recited by the rabbi, the Hassan will say that these are recited by the Lord God Almighty over his son. <laughs> it's Baruch Atadani Eloheinu Melech Olam Bori Pri Hagafen. Blessed are you, O Lord God of the Sovereign of the Universe, who creates the fruit of the vine. Baruch Atadani Eloheinu Melech Olam Shecheol Barach Lich Vodo. Blessed are you, O Lord, our God, sovereign of the universe, who created everything for his glory. Baruch ta donai Eloheinu melech haolam, Yetzirah adam. Blessed are you, Lord, our God, sovereign of the universe, who creates man. Baruch ta donai Eloheinu melech haolam, Asher Yetzirah et hadam, Betzalmo, Betzalim, Demutavnito, Vehiktkin lo mimenu binya ade ad baruch ata adonai yotzir ha adam. Blessed are you, O Lord, our God, sovereign of the universe, who creates man in your image, fashioning perpetuated life. Blessed are you, Lord, creator of man. Sos tazis vetagil ha akara bikibutz beniha lo tocha. Besimcha Baruch Ata Adonai Mesamech Zion Bevenu Ha Bevene Ha Excuse me. May the barren one exult and be glad as her children are joyfully gathered to her. Blessed are you, Lord, who gladdens Zion with her children. Semiacha Tesmamacha Riem Haha Vuim Kesamiacha Ha Yatsirecha Bagan Iden Mekidim Baruka Atadanai Mesamech Chatan Bachala. Grant perfect joy to these loving companions as you did to your creations in the Garden of Eden. Blessed are you, Lord, who grants the joy of the groom and bride. And then the final blessing, Baruch. Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Asher Baras Asson Vesimcha Chatan Vechala Gila Rina Detsa Vechedva Achava Vechachava Veshalom Verut Me Adonai Eloheinu Yeshema Bari Yehuda Utz Chutzot Yerushalayim Kol Sasson Bekol Simcha Kol Chatan Bekol Kala Kol Mitzalot Chatanim Mechiupatam Unarim Mim Isht Neginatam Barukat Ata Adonai Mesamech Chatan Im Chakala Translation Blessed are you Lord our God Sovereign of the Universe who created joy and gladness, groom and bride, mirth, song, delight, rejoicing, love, harmony, and peace and companionship. Soon, Lord our God, may there ever be heard in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem voices of joy and gladness, voices of groom and bride, the jubilant voices of those joined in marriage under the bridal canopy, the voices of young people feasting and singing, Blessed are you, Lord, who causes the groom to rejoice with the bride. And the seven days, the feast days, are singing and dancing and joy. All these things are conducted now in Jerusalem at this time. But what does this look to? This looks to Revelation 9 
10, and he carried me away in the spirit to a great high mountain and showed me the great city, the holy Jerusalem descending out of heaven from God, having the glory of God in her light was like unto a stone most precious, even like a jasper stone clear as crystal. And this, the, listen, and I saw no temple in this city for their Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are the temple in it. And Revelation twenty two seventeen, and the Spirit and the Bride say, Come, and then that here says, Come, and let him who is a thirst come, and whoever will, let him take of the water of life free.